Hello, non-existent YouTube followers. Um, I feel like I need to do a more legit video because last time I just posted this one minute short that was kind of just the last minute thing when I was at my mom's house and she was showing me all her new office equipment and she was like, do you want to do a video? And I was like, sure, why not? I was dressed decently and I figured it would be a good opportunity to practice my voice and <clears throat> right now my voice sounds like crap because I haven't been practicing at all. Um, I know I'm a bad student, Chuck, I'm sorry. Uh, but I kind of just wanted to do a me ranting, or not ranting, but just saying hi and introducing myself because my channel's kind of a mess. I have like random old stuff that I don't really want to take down because I put in the time and effort to make it, but it's not really interesting or thought-provoking at all. I mean, like, looking at my channel, I have Call of Duty stuff where I didn't even, like, say anything. I just, it's like, look how, look how good I am at Call of Duty, but my scores are not that good, actually, in retrospect. Nothing special. Okay, stop tilting your head. Um, and then, like... <laughs> I did one on how to catch a cheater. That was pretty funny. This dude is definitely, definitely cheating. Um, oh, and there's like my computer science video about Google Glass. And it's funny because I thought Google Glass was like going to be a big thing, but it kind of fizzled because of all the people complaining about it and privacy concerns. And Google kind of just took it out of the public eye. They're like, oh, we've got enough bad PR for this, we need to, like, lay low for a bit. Um, and they're still developing it for enterprise and stuff. But here, here I go again rambling. Um, so, I go by Lena, short for Vladlina or Vladlena. Um, I've, I'm almost a year into my medical transition. Um, my dead name, which I don't use except in, like, legal context these days, because change your name is a pain in the ass. Um, my legal name is Vladimir, but, like, yeah, nobody really calls me that except bank tellers or I don't know what I'm dealing with, like, medical professionals. All right, fair enough. I, I, I have enough interactions with people who still use that name, but, I mean, I present myself pretty femme these days. Like, I have, I don't know, I'm growing a chest and pretty happy with how things are going, but, um... Yeah, I, I haven't really thought about doing YouTube anything because, you know, what what would I have to contribute? It's like, yeah, okay, I'm theoretically smart about stuff and can use my analytical powers to draw connections between things. Um, but, I don't know, I, I feel like kind of inspired by my fiancé who's been starting to do videos again for his channel. And it's not like he's a big famous YouTuber or anything. Um, but kind of just putting yourself out there and feeling like, I don't know, someone might potentially someday see your video, maybe. Um, and even if no one sees this video, it's still, I think, a good exercise for me. Um, if nothing else, to try to work on the high larynx thing that I have really not been mastering because, as I said, I haven't been practicing. And, yeah. <clears throat> But I'm very relaxed because I just came back from having a 90 minute massage and then uh, an hour long facial, which is why my face is still shiny. Um, I have a, like a little light over here, but I don't know. Lighting's pretty okay, I think, considering I haven't I haven't invested in any nice hardware for video. I mean, I have a Logitech or Logitech. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, I have a Logitech webcam. It says it goes up to 1080p. Um, I was I was watching Robin's video earlier, and it looks like the video quality is pretty good actually. And it's got a built-in mic, which is you know it's whatever. I'm not I'm not contra points or something. Like I don't have like scripted out videos and like kind of good points to cover. I'm just an individual citizen of the U.S. who may potentially ramble about politics in the near future because let's be honest there's a lot to ramble about my fiance just did a video on you trump pulling out of 
UNESCO, and that was the big news story, and, I mean, you should watch the video, maybe I'll link it in the description if I remember to, um, not that anybody's gonna see that link because no one's gonna see this video, but, hey, maybe if I'm ever famous, people will be like, oh, snap, when she was, look at her, she was, when she was a youngin', kind of baby trans, as, as we're called, um, kind of just learning, starting to learn the ways, and, I mean, just think about it, you know, like, cis women have a lot of years of the appropriate gender socialization, so, like, they know how to behave, and, like, kind of feel comfortable with that social role, whereas, like, if you're trans, it's like, oh, I have to learn all of this stuff really fast, because if I don't, um, people are gonna look at me funny, and I'm gonna, like, I don't know, depending on what area you're in, you might get the wrong kind of attention, if you know what I mean, um, I mean, heck, even in, like, this area, you know, like, which is pretty safe, like, um, I went to the MoCo Pride, um, center launch thingy, uh, last night, and they were giving out, like, the brochure for the center, and there was, like, there was a flyer for the Trans Day of Remembrance event that's gonna be coming up soon, and they mentioned, like, two trans women having been killed in 2015 and 2016 in Gaithersburg, like, you know, in my neck of the woods. I mean, I'm in Rockville, but close enough. So, I mean, even in progressive areas, there's still bad things that can happen. So, you know, it's it's not really particularly safe to be trans, especially, like, if you don't pass, um, because you will get noticed and some people will notice and kind of be like oh like you know you're brave or whatever and <laughs> that's a problematic concept but um I'm not going to talk about that now so wow i've already gone on for seven minutes go me um probably not going to do any editing on this video just because i don't know i feel like i need to work up to actually having a point this is just kind of like a vlog or something, um, kind of just me talking about myself and where I'm at, and as I said earlier, I feel like I'm in a pretty good place these days. Um, obviously life is stressful, and you know, I get tired and cranky sometimes, but I mean, everybody does, and um, I'm going to sign off now because I don't know what else to talk about, but... Maybe, like, my next video, I'll talk about the struggles of, like, early transition. Or could just talk about them now. I don't know. Um, I should make a decision, though, because otherwise I'm going to have to, like, actually edit this video. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a separate video about that because there's probably too much to say. This would lengthen this video to an unacceptable degree. So I think I'm just going to cut my losses and here, here's the end of my, uh, my one take ramble. Thank you for watching.